I've got another uh, computer to repair here. Um, if you ever watch the intro, the first video we did, uh, to the channel, uh, where the electronics repair intro, yeah? Um, I mentioned then that mainly I'm a hobbyist repair guy, so I have another aspect of the business here, which we, I still have, that's mainly subscription based, so it doesn't require a lot of attention, but pays the bread and butter, yeah, pays the bills. Uh, so this is something I was doing more in my spare time, but. Um, Actually, now, I mean, as, as a kind of like a, a direct result of opening this channel, actually, uh, somebody locally uh, approached me, who I met, and um, now he's bringing me quite a bit of work. Um, so <laughs> I'm actually doing quite a lot more repair, uh, unexpectedly, just, just from having the channel. So, yeah, that, that, that was something I didn't see coming. Anyway, this belongs to a local business, um, and he, he needs it fixed, and he says there's a lot of important data on the hard drive which is actually here uh, and the computer apparently is dead so uh, let's uh, power it up and let's see if that is the case so i've connected the power i'm not going to put this through the light bulb limiter because quite obviously the guy who brought it into me has already had it switched on so uh, if, if it went bang it would have already gone bang yeah it'd be him and he's in a new pair of trousers and not me <laughs> so yeah i've got power plugged in um and nothing's happening oh I'll switch my power on let's go again so power uh, plugged in oh and then now the fan spins powers up is there any speaker on this um, there's no beeps coming out of it let's see just out of interest have we actually got a picture um, Let's have a look. Um, some little uh, graphics card on this. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Uh, let's just take the monitor. Switch it off again. Um, still trying to, trying to determine if there's a like a, a bleeper or a speaker on this. I don't hear any sound. I can't see one. Let's go and switch it on. Okay. Nope, nothing much happening there apart from the fan spinning, yeah. Um, right. First thing then, let's disconnect uh, everything that's plugged into the main board. Basically, let's, let's disconnect his hard drive, that's one. And the uh, DVD ROM, is it DVD ROM or something in here, whatever it is? Disconnect that. Um, we'll disconnect the uh, USB. Is this one? There's a USB or audio audio um so just the front panel connected on um let's see yeah and that's just power let's see if it does anything now other than just spinning nothing else happening yeah. see if that uh, does anything yeah nothing on the screen i'll just make sure the monitor set to vga and that's on dvr go to vga but normally it would switch anyway if it sees a signal it'll just switch to it yeah Okay, nothing coming. Uh, no, I have a blue light on the monitor which saying VGA no signal. Then it goes orange and goes off again. Uh, okay, so so far not a lot. Th this motherboard I've just had a look. It actually has onboard video as well. So the next uh, obvious thing is going to be to take the graphics card out and connect my monitor directly to the onboard video. Yeah, and see what happens then. Okay, so we'll take this uh, graphics card off here. What is this out of interest? Uh, G <coughs> uh, NVIDIA uh, GT710SL was probably low profile or something. Um, 1 gig DDR5. Uh, well, Asus uh, graphics card. It's an Asus motherboard. Um, it's M. For A7, 8 or B, I think it's M4 A7 BLT. It's not a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. <laughs> M4 A7 BLT dash M LE. That's that's what it is. AMD fan. It looks like it's next from AMD. Probably uh, uh, some Athlon X, Athlon uh, 64 or something like that. Okay, graphics card out. Straight onto the onboard VGA. Uh, let's just uh, 
remove a bit of dust and stuff out of this, shall we? Not as that will make any difference. It's quite dusty. Capacitors look okay, the electrolytics are looking alright. Um, well, you've got to go and see if it wants to uh, boot from the uh, onboard video, yeah? And again, nothing, no beeps, although I'm not sure it's got a beep here. No, no video. Okay. What else can we do? We can check the CMOS battery. And we can also try another power supply, yeah. Uh, okay, let's, uh, so volts. Let's see if there's any charge in the CMOS battery. Anything less than 3 volts is no good, yeah. Take that out. Take that out. Bin. Right, let's get another battery. Right, so stick that in. New battery in there. Should be about 3.3 now. 3.29. Uh, Just about. Ah. What does it do? Nothing. Uh, powers up, fan spinning. Nothing. Monitor's not doing anything, not seeing a signal. Right. Uh, about the last thing we can try with this is just to hang another power supply on here. Uh, while the motherboard's still in the case, put a known good power supply on. Let's see what that does. I suppose at this point, because I mean, I don't know what's going on with all the power supply anyway. But I know mine is a good one. I ought to at least check for any shorts on the uh, on the 12 volts. Yeah, so let, let's have a look. Just see. So you say one side will be ground anyway. Yeah, and then the other side shouldn't be short. That's high. That's high. Okay, so there's no shorts on that. I didn't actually think there would be, uh, since the other power supply was coming on. <laughs> you never know, you may just have a problem with a short on there, a blown 12 volts on the power supply, and the power supply actually powers up. You know, you, you've always got to think at the, outside the box with this sort of thing, yeah. Because I can guarantee you'll, you'll find some strange things if, if you do this regularly, yeah. Okay, so that's our power supply on there. Yep, switched on. Um, does it do anything now? Yeah, fan comes on. Nothing else. No bleeps and nothing on the screen. I say I'm not sure there's a speaker on it. Right, okay. So uh, from here now, the next thing is going to be take this motherboard out and let's have a look to see what's actually going on. Yeah. Okay, I've taken the motherboard out and I've just dusted it off as well a bit. Um, under the dust, I found it does have a speaker connector, but there was no speaker actually connected to it, yeah, so uh, the uh, speaker actually is down under here, just by, right by the uh, EEPROM, well, it must be the BIOS, uh, there's a speaker connector on it there, so that's that. Um, we put it onto the panel. Uh, we can stick the analyzer card in as well, actually, let's get the uh, post analyzer. Oh, okay, one post analyzer, so uh, yeah, let's put that in there as well. Um, can I get that camera so we can uh, see that a bit better? Um, I think you can probably see it anyway. Because, yeah, go on, let's just uh, let's make life a bit better for you, yeah? Just prop it up a little bit, right, okay, so you can see that. Okay, so we've got the motherboard. Um, Test back out to so put the power leads on, so it's against a firm base, yeah, so. Uh, Power, motherboard. I'll let's take the RAM out first. No RAM. What, what are these? Um, two gig. Looks like a pair of two gigs. More dust. Uh, I think the two gig each. That's four gig there. Um, yeah, power supply is on. Switch is ready. Speaker is now on, so we should get some uh, bleeps out of this with a bit of work. Uh, power, oh, what's it do? Well, something's happening. Yeah, what a one bleep. One bleep with no RAM. Let's see. 
That's fun. <laughs> One viper, no ram. Okay. So let's de remove some more dust from this thing. Yeah, there you go. And stick, oh, stick one of the ram in. Stick one in first, yeah. There we go. What's that do? Now we'll prop this up for you. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh. Seems to be stuck in some sort of boot loop. Yeah, it looks like it's stuck in some sort of uh, <coughs> boot loop. Yeah, no bleeps now, but we know the speaker did bleep. Uh, what's it do with uh, the other sticker van? It's an AM3 CPU, by the way. I eventually noticed down here. That's what it actually is. AM3 socket. Yeah, I think that is Athlon uh, 64, something like that. Yeah, what's this sticker around do? Oh. oh, the power switch on my power. Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh. that behaved a little differently. Are we getting a picture out of this? Yeah, something's happening. Yeah. Oh, there was. Oh, okay, insert boot device. Okay, looks like this is just another simple one, actually. Just some problem with the uh, with the RAM. Yeah, I look sorry. Let's switch around again, you'll, you'll see. Uh, I don't know. I had a picture on here before, I can guarantee you. Huh. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, with that stick of RAM, it boots, yeah. Let's go back to the other one, and then we'll try them both. This could just be a case of dirty RAM slots, I see it quite a lot. Um, the other thing it might just be is dirty contacts on the actual RAM itself. Uh, so let's uh, let's clean them, yeah. Okay, the uh, way I do that is with one of these, yeah. Now, you see, with these, back in the 70s when I was at school, that was called a rubber. Yeah, that's a rubber, it was called a rubber. Yeah, and that was fine until somebody, somewhere, I think probably in the US of A, started to call a condom rubber, and now that's an eraser, yeah. It was a perfectly good word, but now we have to give it a different word because somebody gives the perfectly good word to something else, yeah. I mean, we just called the Durex or a Johnny, yeah. Johnny, that was the common one, a Johnny. Go on, in the comments, what they call when you're part of the world. <laughs> okay. Do they have them in your part of the world? I've got a suspicion some places you don't actually have them, yeah? Mm. I'm also well aware that not Australia, Durex is actually sellotape, yeah? Well, actually, I'm quite aware of that one. So, like in Australia, the Durex come on rolls, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. We have to have a bit of fun, don't we, while we're just doing uh, these these menial uh, little repair jobs. Yeah, uh, let's have a go at this. So, yeah, that, that, that's my uh, method. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do it, but for cleaning uh, dims and such like a rubber, yeah, sorry, an eraser. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, let's see uh, what we've got now. So let's be bold and stick on both in. Yeah, let's let's, let's throw caution to the wind here and just stick both in. Right, switch it on. <laughs> the big moment. Yeah, what have we got? Waiting for it. It's, I've got a blue light on the monitor. Yeah, it's on. Uh, are we seeing both sticks of RAM? Yeah, four gig of RAM. I hope you saw it. Uh, I think this is fixed, guys. I think this is just uh, a case of just dirty RAM slots. Yeah, 
The dirty round sauce <laughs> need you though, Robert. <laughs> okay, uh, right, let's uh, stick it back here then. Let's ha hang his hard drive on. In fact, no, let's just stick his hard drive on first and make sure everything's working. If it is, then we'll put it back together. Okay, so I've just taken a long uh, SATA cable, and uh, you can see here, I've just changed the camera. So this is his original case, but there's hard drive still inside it, yeah? And I've just connected the cables from my power supply to it, and the motherboard to his hard drive, while the hard drive's still in the case, but I'm not using his PSU, yeah? I'm just using mine. Um, so, yeah, um, let's power it up, and let's see if we can now get this thing... Uh, into Windows, I guess I ought to get at least a keyboard and a mouse as well while I'm at this. Actually, just before I do that, I'll just disconnect his hard drive again. Um, I ought to check to see if the uh, the graphics card is working, yeah. Uh, and then I can power the whole thing together. So let's just connect my monitor to his uh, graphics card and see if we can still get uh, something on the screen, yeah. So connect this to here. Okay. Yeah, that's in. Right, so that's his graphics card on there now. Right. Um, does it still pose on? Does it give us a picture? Yeah, blue lights come on the monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops, sorry, you can't see it, the camera's frozen. Uh, anyway, yes, it came up, yeah, and it's saying no keyboard detected. I've just restarted the camera again. Yeah, you can see, can't you? It's asking to insert the boot device. So we know his uh, card is also uh, good, yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's now stick his hard drive on and see if this boots. I'm pretty sure it will. <coughs> okay, yeah, it's working with it in Windows. Um, so obviously all his uh, valuable data is still there on his hard drive, yeah. Um, Okay, so that one's working. All we really need to do now is uh, is just put it back together, yeah? Okay, so really that was it. Um, I need to uh, put it back together and test this with its power supply, but I don't, don't doubt for any minute that it'll work, yeah? <clears throat> um, this raises an interesting uh, topic, actually, because the guy who brought me this one in uh, said that the customer who owns it um, wanted a quotation. He said, give me a quotation before you fix it. Uh, and I said, okay. Uh, normally, I say, look, if it's going to be like less than 40 euros, I'll just do it, yeah? And if it's any more, I'll let you know. But this case, I didn't. I just said, worst case scenario, if it turns out being the motherboard, and I'll probably get you another one, uh, fitted for like 40 euros, another used board similar to this, I've, in fact I've, I've got another AM3 board here, I, I could have done that with it, yeah? they could have had it back today. Um, but in this case, and this does happen, is um, I fixed it by the time I found out what was wrong with it, yeah? so by the time I'd found the fault, I'd fixed the fault. Um, and I can't really give him the thing back not working, because I can't really reproduce the fault, yeah? Uh, obviously, I'm not going to create another fault on it deliberately, because um, that really, as far as I'm concerned, is unethical, yeah? Uh, so, I'm just going to go back and say, look, it's, fi it's fixed, you know, and charging for the, for the job. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if some of you guys are doing this sort of uh, <clears throat> work. How, how do you approach that? Uh, do you use my method, which I should have done, and I normally always do, which is say, if it's less than a certain amount, uh, I'll just do it? Uh, okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Another quick one, not a component level repair again, but I have noticed that as people like to watch these videos. So yeah, okay. Um, hope you enjoyed it and see you all soon on the next one. Ciao for now.